In the world of supercars, the Lamborghini Sian FKP37 is unique. The dynamic lines, audacious angles, sleek curves make it so futuristic, and yet it's still unmistakably Lamborghini. We spent over a year trying to recreate this in a 1 to 8 scale LEGO Technic model, working closely with the design team at Lamborghini, getting all the details and lines as perfect as we could. At the end of such a project, you're always thinking, what more could we do? How can we keep this great collaboration going? After speaking to the design team in Santa Gata, Lamborghini's headquarters, we came up with the idea of going big and creating a full-size one-to-one scale version of the Cyan FKP37. To show what's possible with the LEGO Technic system. With this in mind, we headed to the LEGO facility at Kladno in the Czech Republic. It's here that all those amazing outsize models and sculptures you see in LEGO stores and Legoland parks are built. If anyone could make this happen, it would be them. We looked once again at the design cues of the Cyan FKP37 and closely studied the iconic Lamborghinis of the past. From our discussions with the Lamborghini design team, we realized that hexagon shape was something that played a major part in both the Lamborghini and the Cyan FKP37's design history. They started sketching and determining how the hexagon shape could be the foundation for the car's design. The engineers went to work figuring out how this huge complex structure could be built. And then the expert builders started their work. Though our car was always going to have the same green color as the 1 to 8 scale model, we felt it needed a touch of something special to make it unique. Here, the Lamborghini designers suggested using the skilled craftsmen who paint their cars to do something with ours. Watching the craftsmen adding a layer of color to the Lego Technic elements was like watching an artist at work. There's only going to be 63 Cyan FKP37s made, and every one will be unique. The idea of making ours unique as well was difficult to resist. We constantly checked in with the design team at Lamborghini, and new ideas and improvements were adapted into the build. It was here, for example, that the idea of adding lines of LED lights to the vehicle to enhance the design features came up. It also added some drama to the concept. From there, everything moved quickly. The final builds, the small details, the test of the electronics. Our dream had come true. The full-size LEGO Technic version of the Lamborghini Sian FKP37 was complete. How did we do? It's really not up to us to say. It's the LEGO fans and the supercar enthusiasts that will decide. But we're proud of the car. And welcome to this digital Lego Technic experience. I'm your host, Karen, and we're here in this virtual warehouse to unveil something very exciting that we've been working on with the awesome team at Automobili Lamborghini. So I'm sure you all remember this Thunderbolt that we launched last year. Well, we like to keep our designers busy, so while you might think we gave them a little rest after they came up with this piece of engineering excellence, we already had their next challenge lined up. We think we've got something pretty show-stopping for you today. But before we can go and see it, we'll have to make a little adjustment. You see, our LEGO Technic designers are obsessed with scale, 
And, well, while we wished you could take this model for a spin, we're not going to fit behind the wheel. So, we're going to need to scale down a little. But don't worry, this won't hurt a bit. See you in the driver's seat. This is a moment many of us here have dreamt of. Being behind the wheel of the Lego Technic Lamborghini Sienna. It's certainly a pretty breathtaking ride. Our designers worked meticulously with Automobili Lamborghini to replicate the visionary design of the limited edition Italian super sports car. They had their work cut out, but they managed to show that with Lego Technic, you can build whatever you want for real. You can imagine what they thought when we challenged them to think a little bigger. This is the transformation tunnel. It's our virtual metaphor for the 8,660 hours our master builders spent on the new challenge we set them. This 1 to 8 scale model that you're sitting in is made up of 3,696 Lego Technic elements. What we're about to show you took a few more pieces to build. Welcome to your new wheels. You're currently sitting inside the first ever life-size Lego Technic Lamborghini Sienna. It's a true feat of design excellence, so why don't you step out and take a look at it from a few more angles. Here it is, in all its glory. A life-size replica of the Lamborghini Sienna FKP37, made entirely from Lego Technic elements. We wish we could have all of you with us in person to see the model in real life, but luckily, we have technology on our side. What you can see here is an exact virtual replica of the life-size model that our super talented designers built for real using over 400,000 LEGO Technic elements. To get a real sense of how impressive this is, you need to see it next to the real thing. Now that we've got both models in the garage, let's hear more about this incredible creation from some of our friends from Automobili Lamborghini. Welcome, Mitya and Eminel. Thanks for joining us from the Automobili Lamborghini HQ in Sant'Agata, Bolognese, Italy. And welcome also to Jeppe, one of our very own LEGO designers here at the LEGO Group headquarters in Bilon, Denmark. Please introduce yourselves to our virtual guests. My name is Mitya Borkert. Um, I'm the head of design of Automobili Lamborghini. And I'm the lucky guy that is watching the design and the design DNA of Lamborghini. Hello, everyone. My name is Eminel Hodzic. I work in Automobili Lamborghini as exterior senior designer. And uh, since I was a kid, I was playing with the uh, Lego pieces. So for me, this collaboration was really a dream, became true. Well, first off, Mitya and Eminel, congratulations on designing such an awe-inspiring model in the first place. The Lamborghini Sienna FKP37 is really a one-of-a-kind car. Mitya and Eminel, what makes it so unique? Sienna itself is really amazing and a unique car. There are many reasons why it's like this. So the first of all, you can see we are talking about the first hybrid car that Lamborghini ever made. The second thing is that we are talking about the limited edition. So only the 63 clients will have possibility to own this kind of car. The third and most important reason for me is the design of this car. This design gives opportunity to the clients to personalize it in a really many different ways. Yep, it. why did you want to create this one-to-one -one scale model? Well, first off, it's a Lamborghini. So, of course, that's a big part of it. 
but also the Xi'an is really like one of a kind, where they stretch themselves to the limit. And I think best of the best is also what we do when we do supercars and Technic and the ultimate supercar. So in that sense, it really fitted our concept. And then it is a work of art. If you look at it, you can see how awesome it is. The design language of the Lamborghini Xi'an, it just fits Technic also in the Technic building system. So it was really a natural choice for us to go with, with the Xi'an. We can see from here just how similar the silhouettes of the two models are. I've noticed that the body of the Lego Technic replica is made from hexagonal elements. Why this shape? The hexagonal shape is a huge part of Lamborghini's design DNA. You can see it on the real Sienna also, both on the tail lights, the exhaust and other places on the car, and also on the 128 uh, Lego Technic uh, model, of course. So there was a fun, you know, twist or artistic twist in actually using that shape as part of the bigger shaping of the car. So it really becomes kind of a, a true expression of the design DNA, both of the Lego Technic version, but also the real Cyan and the Lamborghini design DNA. And were there any other elements of the model that were important to replicate identically? On the Cyan, there are so many beautiful uh, details and elements. But for me, one of the most important was for sure the Y shape, the Y front light is very important for the design. The diagonal lines on the front hood, on the body side, the triangular air intake. And then, of course, my favorite uh, perspective of the car, the rear view, um, the, the wings that are sticking out, the hexagonal tail lights and the exhaust pipes. Those are the ones that we wanted to replicate, but of course there are so many um, that makes this car so special. One really important thing about the design of a supercar, that's of course the wheels. It's kind of a signature of the design of the car. And that also speaks to the one-to-one -one Lego Technic version. We really have to have the right wheels to have it super authentic, have the right proportions, the details. And then we are lucky enough that we were able to borrow the right wheels from the Lamborghini Cyan and put it on the Lego Technic car. So it really speaks to the right expression of the car. You work with Lego Technic elements all day, every day. But what challenges do they pose when working on a large scale model like this one? It's a different challenge because we can build the what we call the big cars, of course, the one to eight scale. But once you go up to a one to one scale, of course, it's still Lego elements. But the challenge of actually creating shapes in that size is a very different from doing a one to eight scale. But you know, Mitya Eminel, you're used to working with much bigger scale elements every day. How did you find that challenge? It was a great challenge, you know, because when you look at the Lamborghini, you see we are using sharp lines and precise surfaces. So you think when you translate this shape uh, with the Lego that it should be easy, but it was not. Yeah? So it was really, it took a lot of attention to find the right uh, corners to also repeat the refinement that makes a Lamborghini a Lamborghini. The car itself is really complex, but I have to say the result is really amazing. All the elements are there. The biggest challenge was when it was time to build the model and then the LEGO group team came in. And luckily that task didn't fall on my team. We have a specialist team set up in the Czech Republic at the Kladno factory. They know exactly how to build these things. They have the skills, they have the uh, facilities, they have the software. They know how to get stability and how to make these huge shapes with the Lego Technic elements. So on that point, this life-size replica is made from over 400,000 Lego Technic elements. How on earth do the builders keep track of all those pieces? Well, it's a very special experience being there and seeing how they operate because they have a very amazing building process. We are more chaotic in our development process, but they have to be really, really stringent about this. It's almost like an engineering lab. They know where everything is all the time. They have to, otherwise you would never be able to make such a complex build. For us, is the one way of development and they have another one. And showing me how everything starts from the chassis, from the wheels, from the details, and all the interior, actual exterior, it's really amazing. They include also these new brakes, which were designed only for the Lamborghini Cyan, which for me is really uh, glad to see, and I'm amazed to, to have this kind of new feature on the car. Unfortunately, after the COVID and all these situations, starts we had possibility only to talk online which for me was always a nice experience because I saw how the car was uh, de developed and how it was becoming more mature and in the end I can see also the, the final result of the of this CN. Just how long does it take to design and build a model like this? It took nine months from you know first idea 
until they could actually stand in front of a finished one-to-one -one car. So it's a huge undertaking. And the building process itself took 3,000 man hours. So it's a huge build to undertake. Tough question, but which model would you rather see in your garage? I would like to have the one-to-one -one Lego Technic model standing in my living room. And then if I could get the keys for the other one, for the real one, in the garage, that would be perfect. And finally, we know you all like a challenge. So what's coming up next for you? Of course, I can't tell you that. But I, am, I can promise you we're working on some really exciting projects that will come out in the coming months. No doubt about that. Uh, this is a cool thing about Lamborghini because we are always full of ideas and you know I would like to underline that we have always an idea for the future of Lamborghini because you know I'm following the, my favorite sentence of Ferruccio Lamborghini. I've created this car just for me. It was always a dream and must remain a dream and this dream we will continue, I promise. Well, a big thank you to both teams for joining us today. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Jeppe. Thank you to all the guests uh, that were watching. See you in the future. Ciao. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, all the guests. Hope to see you soon. Well, a big thank you to both teams for joining us today. Now we're putting you in the driver's seat again. It's your turn to explore these models in all their glorious detail. Soon, you'll see hotspots appear on your screen that will help you explore these stunning models up close. Simply click to see more detail. It's been a pleasure to be with you today. Enjoy the rest of your day.